Good morning, friends. Cheryl here with Ink Pulp. And we are back to work on our Christmas journal and art before breakfast. I have me a cuppa. Where's the gang? Well, I just got here. So we'll give them a, a minute to, to get here. I got the uh, silver glitter on this guy. I did all of his fur pieces. I did around the bottom of his coat. I did his sleeves, his hat. He is all glittery. All glittery. And I thought today I found this. This is... Um, This is just a piece of, or uh, I used to make these things that would, um, one minute, huh. I'm showing 832, so um, I found this. I used to make these for post-it notepads. It was like a little matchbook cover for a post-it notepad. And I found this in my stash. And I thought we could make this a little scrappy notepad today. Uh, we could do a scrap pad. And I think hmm. I thought I had some paper. Oh, look at these stamps. Aren't those just the cutest? Maybe we could put one of those on the front of this. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Paula. Oh, Paula, look what I did. Do you see the glitter? And I did all of his fur pieces. I done glittered the Santa. I told you I would. I told you I would. Oh, I got this package of um, leftover. I thought that could be a pretty tag. Um, this is more of just a winter journal, but some of the pages back here, the... Um, like this one with the snow this one's got some snow i wonder if we could cut up some of these and use them for um a scrappy notepad hey julie long time no see Glad you're here. We're working on the... <laughs> Paula says, I love it. I might be able to use that little pocket. Um, what do you guys think about tearing this up and, and making this the inside papers? I could like cut it down there so we don't get the dark blue. What do you guys think about that? I'll go down a little ways and cut off some of this. Come with some of this dark blue. We have been missing you, too. I'm glad you're back today. We're working on a Christmas journal. Oops. Just a little bit here that didn't cut. Everybody's in saying hello to everybody. I love it. It's the Christmas spirit. Let's see if I can get this one cut all the way down. I may leave some of that. Um, 
glue, otherwise I'll cut off too much of the paper and we won't have enough left for a scrappy notebook. All right. Um, I think I'm just going to pretty much cut that. Nope, I can take a little more off here. Huh, it's still a little bit too wide. All right, well, let's. over to where I might have been able to get three out of this. I hadn't torn it so so tight. Um, oh well. So I'm just making a little scrappy notebook. So Julie, here are some of the pieces we've made so far. We're working on ephemera. <laughs> I went over the glue. Hey, Pam. So here's this Santa with all the glitter on him. We made this. I've got this little ornament. We've got this little fold out and I folded up a um, coloring book page and put in there. And we've got these two big cards for the two big pockets. So I think there might be one or two things still up there, but those are the types of things we're making for those of you who are just coming in. Um, and I am, I know, isn't it fun, Julie? Now this page goes all the way to the edges, so I should be able to definitely get three out of this one. So yeah, I just found this little cover. I used to do um, matchbook. Oh, not matchbook. It's a matchbook style, but I used to cover post-it notepads with them. And uh, I found one in my stash. And I thought, well, what the heck? We can use it for a scrappy notepad. I guess maybe we got about four out of that. And that's too long, so I'm going to just tear so that we have some irregular tears at the bottom. Concentrating not. You have vintage antique sewing items. Yummy. How fun. Yeah, these are kind of all different sizes. That's what I like. I 
and then that will go down in there. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And on the first page, we could put a little something, but I'll wait and sew that in until we finish decorating here. So, do we want one of these stamps on here? Not quite big enough, I don't think. But I've got plenty of stuff. So no worries. Ooh. What about that little guy just sitting on the front? What do you think about that? And maybe we could put a little lace or something along the bottom. Yep, thumbs up. Do you guys like that? Yay, nay. Oh, you guys are too busy talking. You want the puppy. He's too big for this. <laughs> He's too big for this piece. But we can do something. Yes to the Cardinals. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I am so excited. I'm using up quite a bit of my Christmas ephemera. That's been sitting for literally years. And I'm so excited to be using it up. Okay, we'll make something with the puppy next. And I'll let you pick what we make. So be thinking about it. Okay. And then. Shall we. Put just a little. Bit of lace or ribbon. I've got some fun ribbons. You want your puppy. I've actually got two different puppies in there. This might not be the right one. Oh, I don't know. It says Merry Christmas. It fits perfectly if we cut it off there. What do you guys think about that? Or should I do a different ribbon? It fits perfectly across the bottom, but maybe it doesn't go with the cardinals. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Does it go with the cardinals or not? So I've got that one. Hmm. Still got some of this lace that we could put on here. Not quite big enough. And let's see what else I've got. Oh, maybe this is a better one. But it doesn't stand out as much. I could tie a little bow on here. You like it? You like the Merry Christmas? I kind of do too. It doesn't really match the colors but not everything has to be matchy matchy so if somebody really doesn't like it now's the time to speak up before i glue it down now's the time to speak or forever hold your peace um, 
Oh, I've got this little notepad. We can put some of these little papers in the pockets. All right, what do you guys think? There's that. It is a good match to the background. So I could put Merry Christmas, and then I could put a little lace under it. What do you guys think of that? So there's the Merry Christmas. And there's a little bit of lace underneath. What do you think of that? Yes to both. I like it. Okay, I'm going to put the lace down first so I know how high to go with the... Good. Yeah, I know, Big Mama. It doesn't have to be matchy-matchy. You are teaching me that in a really big way and I appreciate it. I have I have from this whole process I have learned a lot and you guys just don't know how much I appreciate you. There's that. And the ribbon. And we'll smooth the glue out on the ribbon so it doesn't come seeping through. Oh, I like it. Now we'll put the paper pad in. Love both. Her coffee cup. That's right, you do. <laughs> You're funny on your videos. I laugh when I watch your videos, and I don't, I don't mean that in a like a critical way that they're laughable. I mean that in that the things that you say. You have such a great wit about you, Big Mama. All right, there is that cover. Merry Christmas. Now let's, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to poke a couple holes in the top, and then I'm going to go through the paper, and I'm going to bring some embroidery floss and then tie a bow at the top. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, Big Mama, you are too much. I don't match my colors to anything. I wake up and whatever's clean that's what I wear. Okay, there we go. Now, let me find my red. They would, wouldn't they? With post-it notes, I used to sell them with post-it notes in them for like $5.99. And they, I don't know why I don't make them anymore. Because I've got a bunch of post-it notes sitting on my shelf back there from when I was making them. And I used to sell a lot of them then. I don't know, I just stopped. So there you go. Now you know how to make one. Not that there's any rocket science to it, but um, 
may spark an idea. Okay, there we go. But they really would, Julie. They would make cute little stocking stuffers. You know, these, all these little puffy stickers that I have and stuff, I used to go whenever stickers were on sale, because I used them a lot on my cards when I was making a lot of cards. And um, I used to use them for that. And um, I just loaded up when they were on sale. So that's why I have so much of this stuff. Whoops. My bows always turn crooked, and somebody told me one time how to make that not happen. Let's see, if we make the bow, we come around the back, and I think that's the clue. I think I usually go around the front, and I think you have to go around the back. Yep. There. And then we'll cut some of these off. Look at that. Now, it doesn't um, stay closed real well. So I think what I may have to do, I don't know if I have them handy. But I may have to put a little piece of that Velcro when I find it. Um, I know roughly where it is. I just don't know exactly where it is. So I think I'll put a little Velcro right in the middle of that. Um... And then there you go. Isn't that cute? We have this little scrappy pad. Now we could, not with that house on there. I was going to say we could stamp something in the middle, but, um, but yeah, I need to, I need to find a way to kind of keep this closed up. Oh, you know what I could do? I could take a piece of this real thin double-sided tape, and I've lost some of the sticky on some of it. The Cardinals won, but we're going to do a puppy thing next. You decide if you want it to be a journal card, a double journal card, a pocket, a... Uh, Whatever you want it to be, Big Mama. I'll pull that little puppy dog out. Okay. Now that's going to stay. There. I just taped it together at the bottom so it doesn't, it won't come apart. And there it is. There it is. I'm so excited. I like when we finish up stuff. 
All right. Hey, KK. Good morning, you think? All right, Big Mama, I'm going to find that puppy right now, and you're going to tell me what we want to do with it. So there's one piece for today. Another little insert. Um, it's not there. I have this puppy, but I don't think that's the one you're talking about. I think you want... No, nope, that's a teddy bear. Oh, I have a little teddy bear, too. Where's the big puppy? Okay, I'm just... Oh, there it is. Right there. There's the puppy. All right. No. I don't have too many piles. I mean, I do have some of the Christmas stuff around me, but I've been really good about putting that stuff back. So I have puppy A and I have puppy B. And I have a teddy bear, but we're not going to use that right this minute. Uh, puppy A and Puppy B, and I, I think I know which one you want. You want Puppy A, Big Mama? I know. I think she wants this one. And on this, you guys, I may just put this, I may just back this and put it in, maybe stitch around it and just use it as a, a you know, tag or journal card just as is because it's so cute. Whoops, I'm completely off camera. Yep, KK wants A. I think everybody's going to want A. So I'm just going to use this as a, because I need a lot of tuck things. All right. And then the other thing I have while I'm waiting to hear from Big Mama, I have all of these that I did last year. These are Christmas tags for writing on that we could use to stick in pockets. So I have like this one and it's got, we could put a ribbon instead of that. Got old Santa. So I've got a lot of this stuff. Um, I've got a lot of these. I've got a whole box of them. So maybe we'll use, oh, there's the old retro Santa. So we've got these all to use too. Okay. Big Mama, I think you wanted this puppy. I'm going to assume and go with this one. I know I am. I hit a thousand. I have to do. Hey, let's take a slight deviation before we start on the puppy. We've got plenty of time. We've still got a whole half hour. Um, so I want to do... A giveaway for a thousand subbies and I have two ideas oh you did okay I missed it oh you want to make this into a matchbook oh lordy um we'll have to make it a big one or we could make it a flip open one maybe um so for my thousand subby giveaway, text Judy. You are not new here. You came when I, let me see if I remember, when I was talking about the memory lights. And you had, was it Mandy? That you were thinking about getting a light for, for um, her parents. Was that you? I think that was you. 
Yes, ma'am. Okay. Well, you let me know if you still want to do that. Madison, that was it. Yep. What a memory. Like a steel trap, I tell you. All right. Well, you drop me an email if you want to um, still do that. So for my thousand subby giveaway, here are my options, my two options that I think I'm going to go with. And I'll let you guys help me pick. So I could either make a journal. And what I did for my 600 was I asked everybody. Okay, you do want it. Okay. I've been working on nightlights. Um Look at the one I made for Big Mama and um, Mimi. They wanted the three crosses on the hill. This white is just my template, so that's going to come off. But I didn't work on it yesterday. I didn't do anything. After I left here, I went upstairs and I just puttered around the house. Okay, so let me write this down. Because I couldn't remember until... I saw your name here. I didn't remember. So it was Tex, Judy, Memory Light, for Maddie. Okay. All right. I'm going to need your, um, I'm going to need your um, email address. And I don't, don't put it in here. Just send me an email. I'll put this up there. Um, send me an email so I'll have it. And then I can um, invoice when it's done. I'll show you first and then invoice it. All right. Oh, one question I do need to know. Do you want the finish to be um, a brown patina, like aged copper, antique copper? Or do you want it that green patina? This is yours, Big Mama. Do you want it the aged patina with some brown showing through? I just need to know whether you want... Brown is just going to be like a solid brown color. So, yeah, email me and I can get the color from you later. But thanks for coming back, Tex Judy. Have you been... You want the green? It is pretty... I sell more green than I sell anything. All right. All right. I'll work on that. Um, so I was saying I can make a journal and on the entry, I would have everybody list five items that they would like me to work with. You know, it could be lace. It could be, it can't be glitter, Paula. I hate that stuff. <laughs> No glitter. No, if you want glitter, I can do glitter. Um, yes, I got you down for that, Big Mama. Um, oh, late at night, you go back and do the um, replay. Good. Um, so everybody would put down five items, you know, like, I don't know, ribbon, lace, a certain color, um, book pages, um, I don't know, whatever, stickers, um, whatever you want me to use, you know, like rice paper. <laughs> you like that, did you, Paula? <laughs> no glitter. Um, and so you put down five items and then I do a random drawing and whoever wins, I make a journal and I make sure I include those five things um so that's one option Catherine won it last time that is one option another option is that i just do a giant happy mail grungy artsy stuff yeah well you'll have to enter the giveaway it won't be a live i'll do a video and put it up on my channel and i'll leave it open for a certain time you know, to enter, but yeah, grungy stuff. So it can be a style. It can be, you know, if you want some shabby chic in there, um, I'll do my best. I'm not great at it, but I can do it. Um, or I can do a, a nice happy mail and I would go through my studio and pick, I mean, it would fill 
a nice big bag, but I can just go through and pick stuff, you know, a bunch of buttons, some lace, some fabric, some papers. Um, I don't know, just stuff. Stickers. What else do I have? Maybe an old book. Um, maybe a little bit of Tim Holtz stuff. So I can just go through and pick a really nice, big, um, happy mail. So you guys, please tell me, do you think I should do the journal idea or a great big happy mail? And in the meantime, I'm going to ink this little puppy dog up and you want another scrappy notepad okay happy mail happy mail random stuff happy mail okay that's what i'm gonna do then that will be easier for me, too, than making a whole journal. I can just go shopping in my, and I have got, I'll probably fill a medium flat rate box. Because Lord knows I have stuff. Stuff that I find and I don't even realize I had. That'll also help me whittle down my my stash. All right. Do we want to put this on a piece of Christmassy paper? I don't know if I've got anything that'll really go with the blue. Oh, those little presents are cute. We could put those behind him. <laughs> well, Big Mama, I can do that just for you. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. You want to use this page for the cover? Do you like that at all, Big Mama? No, you don't like this paper? Hi, Stacy. So I'm going to kind of let Big Mama pick since she really wanted the dog. I don't think I really have anything else in here. The green, maybe. But I need, oh, now that's not bad. Look at that. We don't have to use this, but I'm going to pull it out of here. I lose the puppy if it's too busy. Okay. I was trying to cut it on the perforation, tear it on the perforation. That wasn't working. The green is cute. Yeah. Big Mama says not bad, so she's not convinced yet. We do have this one because there's a lot of green down here in the in the puppy. So we have that option. Let me see what else I have because I have lots. Um, let's see what's in this pad. Oh, there's just a dark green. There's just kind of a plain dark green, but it's very plain. That's too busy. Mm, I don't know if that goes. There's really no goldish colors in there. If you see something you like, Big Mama Holler. 
Here's some little snowflakes. Oh, now that's cute. I don't know if I could do a whole matchbook. It would have to fold sideways and have the matchbook part. You want the snowflakes? Okay. So it's not long enough with that puppy as big as he is to do a... Oh, I have green polka dots or red polka dots too, but I don't know. I don't like that. It, he needs to go on the green. Okay. So... That one's not long enough to fold down over. Now I do have this one, if you want to fold from the top. And this one's got random green. No, that would be good for the inside, but I don't think I want that on the outside. So I also have this one. Those are snowflakes too. So on this one, Big Mama, we'd have to fold it sideways. And then make it tuck in on the side because I don't have, well, no, I don't have enough to fold up for the matchbook and then have it fold over. It's got to be pretty long. It's got to be, oh, well, I can't use this one because this image is much bigger. So this would have been good if we use the, like a little you know, stamp on it, but the green long one, this one. Yeah, that's cute too. I like that a lot. All right. So let's figure out how wide we need it to be. If we're going to put going to be a wide one. But it doesn't have to be that much wider than the... Well, let's see. Let's see what this gives us. Oops, not there. And then when I fold this up, you'll have the little green dots. Because it'll fold over like this, and then this will fold up. I don't need it to fold up too much. Um, it's probably much longer than it needs to be, too. that way. Let's go this way. My old lady's eyes see him better. Aww. All right. So then he's going to be on here. So we want to fold it over right about here. Oops. I did this backwards. You are going to get the everything. It is going to be all one color on the front. I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't thinking. That's the problem. This is going to be a big scrappy folder. All right, and then I need to cut it off right about here. Oh, 
Oh, you want the dark side out. Okay. It's the same measurements either way. So, okay. If you want the dark side out, I'll just flip it around. I'll just flip it around. I thought you wanted the snowflakes. All right. So there it is. And it just fits right down in there like that. All right. So do you want anything but the dog on the front? I'm going to let you design this, Big Mama. We do love the dark side. <laughs> we all love the dark side. Oh, my. You guys are crazy. So what do you think? You want anything else or just the dog? On the inside. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You cracked me up. Do you want anything besides this? You want a piece of lace behind him? You want some book page behind him? You want another, you know, bit of paper behind him? You know, my favorite thing to do, this is one of my favorite things to do. is to put a piece of paper so that you have kind of like a half and half. But we don't certainly don't lace and book page. Okay. Of course we want book page and lace and glitter and sequins. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me find um I'm thinking music since it's Christmas. What do you think? I'm thinking some music paper. Wink of Stella on the puppy's nose. Okay. Now, do you want me to tear just around the puppy? It won't show a lot. Well, that would show more of the music if I put it around there. Um, do you want me to tear just a bit around? Do you want a square behind him? What do you want behind the puppy? Do you want me to do that thing where I go, you know, down the side? Um, yep. <laughs> so how do you want what's your preference on which way the music paper goes <clears throat> I can go tear but I know tear just around the dog or tear like at a diagonal or tear around the dog. Okay, so I should so I should put the dog down first, at least on a temporary basis. Oh, I may not want those words. Let's do because this one talks about dullard, dreamer, shirker, shuffler, crawler, creeper. <clears throat> I'll put that one if you want. Sniffler, suffler, sniffler, snuffler, crawler, creeper. If I cut around him. Okay. Tell me if you want this one that's got the snuffler smurfer or whatever all that's on is on it um let's see where's my lace that i can use um hang on 
I'm trying to find my big flat lace. And I know I, because I know I cut a piece of that. Um, oh, we also have to make sure. Yeah. It'll fit. It'll fit in there. All right. Um, hang on just a second, you guys. I'm looking for my big sheet of lace. Uh, it was just here because I was cutting bits off of it. See, I don't understand, you guys. Somebody explain to me how this stuff just gets up and walks away. Because it does. I mean, I can have this stuff here. That's too light. I need a darker piece. Hang on. Let me go get something. <sighs> Got to go over to my other bin. Look at that doily right around the top of them. Do you guys like that? Just kind of peeking out at the top. And rip it. Do you like that or do you want me to get a whole piece of lace? You tell me, Big Mama. And I can rip up that doily. What you think? Looks like a rug. Yeah, it kind of does, but let's see what Big Mama says. And then I'll let somebody else um, pick up um, What do you think, Big Mama? A big piece around him. Okay. Not a problem. This is your... and We'll take turns. If somebody else wants to design a project, um, we'll do that. Oh, here's some good stuff. Oh, that's what I was looking for. This is what I was looking for. About some filet crochet. Because that rips really well. How about if we put him like right there? And then I'll just go around and rip all around that. What do you think, Big Mama? I think this one is going to be it. This is what I was looking for. I love this filet crochet lace for um, ripping and distressing and it's usually not super thick like some of the crocheted laces are big mama loves it okay and we're gonna do it big mama Do you guys do this? I always turn it over and press from the back. I think it helps hold it down a little better. All right. We can't go too far around him because I don't have that much space. So I'm going to go, you know, somewhat close because we still have to put down the um, other paper.
I'm going to cut these pieces so they're easier to rip with the seam ripper. Oh, look at him. See, there's not going to be much. You're going to cover up all the green if we put the book page behind him. We can do it. Just rip it. Rip it real good. All right. <laughs> oh, Big Mama, you're so funny. Make it grungy. Oh, that's cute. This is almost like burlap. It's a wide weave. Oh, he's cute. He is cutie. Oh, I haven't ripped the side yet. Gotta rip it all the way around. There, is that grungy enough for you? What do you think? Now, if you think we should make it taller, now hit it with a heat gun to curl the lace a bit. Oh, well, this isn't really lace, but I mean, it's lace, but it's not polyester, so it's not going to curl. But let's see what I can do if I can get it. I use my super duty heat gun, but I want to be careful not to get it too much on the puppy dog. Come on. There. I singed the edges. What do you think about that? See, it's got a little singe over here on the side, a little bit at the top. So it did give it texture. Now, here's my question for you. And I'm thinking I might need to cut a different piece of paper. <coughs> Although I don't know if I had another one of these. Um, well, let's do this first. See, I don't think you're going to see any of that music behind there. I just don't think you're going to see it. Unless you cover up a whole lot of the green and just have the green peeking out. But you do have the green at the bottom. So if we just have it peeking out... Just a hint of music. Okay. Okay. 
like that. Oh, look, and this says sniff on this part of the paper. You see that? Sniff and sniffler. That's cute. How about just like that? just a little too tall. Yep. So this says sniff sniff on it. All right, let me ink this up and we'll get this all sewn down. And then I can always go back and put the papers in. Um, did everybody give a thumbs up? It is adorable, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to put this down. The dog will be a little off center, but he should be. He shouldn't be exactly right in the center. So I'm going to put this over here. Hang on. And out of all that music paper, isn't it funny that I chose the one that says Sniff Sniff on it? Because I didn't do that on purpose, I promise you. Okay, there's that. And then we'll put him on there just like that. Little off. I know, it is hilarious, isn't it? Some things are just meant to be. I'm telling you guys, it is magic when I'm working with you guys because we always just find the perfect thing. I may have to look through some stuff to get it, but with everybody's collective input, we just always seem to make the perfect piece. And that doesn't always happen to me. Let's make sure he's straight. Okay, so he does hang over a little bit at the top with a little bit of lace, but that's okay. And then it's going to go like that. Now, do you want a word or something down here? Um... Let's see what I have for words. This is just stinking cute. I had these all sorted out for the different things that they were. And I've got them all mixed up now. Because I couldn't keep them sorted. Okay, not those. I'm looking for the... There they are. I'm looking for the word ones that I had. So these go over here. All right. So let's see what we have. Put the word naughty. I don't have that. I could stamp it out on... Um, Let 
we've got a little holly jolly time that's kind of a pinkish color though and it doesn't really oh somebody said put wink of stella on his nose should we do that There we go. He's got a shimmery nose now. Um, nope, that don't look good. There's Christmas, but it's all in pink. And that doesn't look bad on there. I'm just not sure about that dark pink. Um, I could cut out, I can make a word naughty. Do you want naughty on it? I can print it on my printer. Get it dark side or the dog's name. Oh, dark Vader. See, I've got a Christmas greetings, but that's kind of small there. <clears throat> so you tell me what words you want and I will print it out. I don't, I I can't do it right now because I have to go to my other computer. Um, but tell me what you wanted to say. And then I'll print it on coffee dyed paper and then glue it on here. Maybe. Yeah. So do you want Dark Vader on it or Naughty or... Yeah, naughty or nice is a Christmas thing, right? I love that. I really love that. I really love that. I'm going to open it up and have some paper in there. Okay, which one? Naughty's list, naughty list, or Santa's list? Which one do you want? <laughs> just tell me what you want on it big mama and i'll put um i probably won't tie a bow because that might get in the way of this but i'll use some green um embroidery floss <clears throat> and um i'll just leave the tails kind of hanging out This is not exactly even, and you know that's going to drive me nuts. It folded a little bit off, but it's not bad enough to worry about. Hey, Marty. I would just put Santa's list. Okay. And that way it could be a list of anything. It could be toys that kids want. It could be things that the grown-ups want. It could be the naughty or nice list. So this is going to be Santa's list. And I'll, I'll make it a bigger font. And, um, and then I'll put some... Um, <laughs> do you want me to do it in black ink to match the black of the music paper or um, green ink? Oh, actually, this is going to go like this. This goes up like this. Okay, green or black ink, Big Mama? Last question I'll ask you, black ink. Okay. All right. 
So here's what we did today. <clears throat> and I'll finish this up offline and I'll show you. Um, not tomorrow because tomorrow's Thursday. I'll show you Friday morning. Um, we made this little matchbook scrappy notepad. Isn't it cute? And this one will be finished up too. I love all those tattered edges around it. This one will be a bigger scrappy notepad with the little dog on it. All right. And come back on Friday and I will um, take somebody else to help me make something. Hey, Penny. I know. Which one? I'm. Mean, they're both adorable. Um, they're both absolutely adorable. Hmm. And I'll put another piece of tape down here like I did on that other one to hold this down so that it just tucks in and stays. All right. Those are the two. They're both so cute. I know. I know. Scrappy notepads. Put my seam ripper back up here so I don't lose it. And my pencil. And then my little trays. I got stuff everywhere. Some little scraps of. I've got a little scrap here I could put under Santa's. I'll see how they fit. Um, but we'll come back on Friday and finish this up. And I will make a um, video to go up on um, a recorded video about my uh, giveaway. I may not get that done today, but I will get that up. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful day. I love you all. Thumbs up if you haven't already, please. And I will see you guys on, well, I'll see you at Penny's tomorrow and then back here on Friday. Bye, everybody.